machine. This is called a Chroma progesterone. Chroma progesterone machine. So everything's already preset. We got our ID chip in. So now we just select. It's gonna tell us our numbers. Is that what it's doing? Mm -hmm. What's going on guys? This is Eddie, Sarah, and Nick from Man Made Kennels. And today, Nick's come over to our house to show us some cool stuff. Hold on, let me just, a little quick glance at what y'all are gonna be watching today. A couple little things on the bottom. But um, tell them what we're gonna be doing today, Nick. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do an at-home progesterone test for those of you who like to do everything at home like me. All right. So, so we're gonna walk you through everything that you're gonna need. This is your pipette. We're gonna change the, we're gonna change the amount of UIs we're gonna be using, but I'll walk you through that as we do it. This is our progesterone test strip. You hold it up real quick. Sure. It needs to be on a flat surface. It's upside down, but it's all good. And this is our buffer. It's important that your buffer sits out and comes to room temperature before you perform the test for optimum accuracy. Sure. So we're, gonna, we're gonna start over here. We've already taken our blood sample. You're gonna want about at least a cc of blood. And we're gonna spin this down in our- Hold up, there's a balancer in there. Oh yeah. Also, for optimum balance and accuracy, you wanna fill one of these up with water and put it on the opposite side. So we're gonna shut this. And we're gonna spin this down for one to two minutes until we get a, a nice serum. All right guys, so that's spinning it down at the moment. We'll take a little break here and we'll be right back. We're back, two minutes have passed. Nick's gonna open it up. All right, let's see what it looks like. Our blood is spun down, and we have a clear, slightly reddish serum at the top. This is what we're gonna be drawing out with our pipette. Okay. So before you do this part, it's important to know you have to set the pipette to 30 ULs. All right, so, so we've already preset this part. How do you set that pipette to 30 so ULs? Just, you adjust Hold it. on, this camera's being a little bit crazy, guys, sorry. So you use the knob, and you adjust it back here. So we already had it preset at 30 ULs for this part. So I'm gonna go ahead. What is wrong with this? Hold on, Nick. This camera is being extra dumb. There we go. Good. All right. So we're gonna draw 30 ULs of our serum. All right. And then we're gonna add this. How do you know that's 30 ULs? When you calibrate your pipette, has pictures and exact measurements. Mine was just previously calibrated, so I know it's on point. Gotcha. So we're gonna add our 30 wells to our buffer. So we're gonna get all that in there. Now, we're gonna close this up and mix it for about 30 seconds. While we're mixing it, we're gonna adjust our pipe back to 70 wells. So 75 seconds. Sarah's over there like, yeah, yo. We had to put some more water in the fish tank because it was being kind of loud. This whole process is for you at home so that you know how to do it. Right, Save so, time and money. So now we're set to 75. 75, so we're gonna draw all this up. Oh. So now right. we have 75 ULs. Gotcha. So this part's important. It's gotta lay flat. Don't drop, so we're gonna, we're gonna put this on our test strip. We have to slowly put it in this part right here. Okay, so. Drop it in there. Now we're gonna let it absorb a little bit. But what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna put this in the eye chamber. What the eye chamber does, this right here allows our test strip to incubate at the exact temperature for optimum accuracy for our test. It's a very meticulous process and accuracy is most important because we're trying to pinpoint the best days to breed our female and her best ovulation days. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in here and it's gonna take 15 minutes to incubate that temperature. All right. Mm 
It's already set. Yeah, it's, already, it's already good to go. I don't know about that, Nick. All right, guys, so we're back. 15 minutes have passed. Nick's gonna slide this out. Told him to wait for me. There it is. All right, so now I'm gonna take my test strip and insert it into our progesterone machine. This is called a chroma progesterone. Yeah, chroma progesterone machine. So everything's already preset. We got our ID chip in, so now we just see that. It's gonna tell us our numbers, is that what it's doing? Mm -hmm. All right, so she's at a 16.65. Um, optimal breeding numbers are between 15 and 30, so this is a good time to start breeding. And uh, we'll probably do one to two in the TCI tomorrow. Awesome. We'll make sure that we hit that, uh, that time. Awesome. So that's how you do a progesterone test at home. Hey, if somebody wanted to get a hold of you to ask you for some tips, how do they do that? 609-319-7126. Uh, you know, text or call me anytime. Awesome. Got you. Thank you so much, man. We really appreciate you. So between 15 and what? 15 and 30 are the numbers you want to target for breeding. All right. And 15 is where you start. 15 is where you would start, and then you would breed all the way up through 30. Yeah, awesome, man. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. This is my brother, Nick. Come down here to teach us a little bit of things, a, little, a little couple things. Here we go, Get a lab with me. Brought the whole lab, too. The whole lab. Sarah's excited. She said we're getting one tomorrow. All right, guys. On the count of three. One, two, three. Peace, man-made kennels.